All right, I was able to drive up the custom two by 12 ramps that I made. This gives a little bit more than a three inch lift, help with the oil change clearance. I'm about halfway in the middle. That's where you want to be. I guess this side didn't line too well. That's all right, about 8% of the tread still on the ramp right there. And here's the tools and parts list we'll be using. I went with two five quart containers of zero W20 full synthetic oil. It makes more sense to buy a second five quart container rather than one single quart container of oil. We can use that for future oil changes. Here's a funnel, that 3 8 torque wrench, and then we have a short and medium 3 8 extension. We have a 12, 14, and 17 millimeter socket and a 3 8 ratchet. And this is a special tool that you'll need for your oil filter casing. This is made by Motive Tools. This is an MX2320. This thing has received phenomenal ratings on Amazon, so I figured I'd give this thing a shot. I believe this was $26 or $27. And we have an OEM Toyota oil filter with some seals inside there. And then we have a magnetic drain plug that's made by Gretti. I believe this is the same threads as Toyota, but we'll double check. This is an M12 by P1.25. So this will basically keep metal particles from floating around your engine casing. Now the first things you want to do is go ahead and open up the top of the engine. Take this off. Set this to the side. And then go ahead and pull out the dipstick a little bit. Just so you can allow some air coming from the top of the motor for when you drain the oil. And now that we're on the bottom of the truck, there is four 12 millimeter bolts that we need to remove for this pan right here. So there's one right there, another one right there. And it looks like there's two bolts in the back. Got one right here. And you got another one right there. So let's go ahead and take this pan off. Okay, the next step of the process is to drain the engine oil. And this is our oil pan right in front of the main cross member. And this is a 14 millimeter bolt. Go ahead and remove that. And also remember, you'll need a new crush washer that goes in between the oil pan and the bolt. So once we remove this bolt, oil should drain straight down. Okay, we got the OEM oil drain bolt removed along with the oil from the oil pan. And this is our Gretti magnetic oil drain bolt. We're gonna go ahead and test fit this, make sure it fits in the threads right. And if it does, we'll go ahead and take the torque wrench and torque it to 30 foot pounds. So let's go ahead and take care of this. Okay, one thing to note on the oil pan, when I remove the drain plug, the factory crush washer was still in position. So I used this plastic pry tool right here and I had to push pretty hard in order to get the thing off. So make sure that you don't install the drain plug with the old factory crush washer still in position. And don't use metal, you wanna use plastic because you don't wanna scrape up your oil pan right there. Okay, now that the oil pan is drained and you either reinstalled the OEM drain plug or put an aftermarket magnetic drain plug and torqued it to 30 foot pounds, we can move over to the oil filter housing. And the oil filter housing is located on the front part of the motor, and this is it right here. So the first part is we want to take our 3S extension, plug it into this plug, and remove this right now. And once removed that 3 8 drain plug, there's a special plastic fitting inside this filter box. And here's our plastic piece. This is the top, and this will plug on the underside of the filter housing, and the oil is supposed to come out of this bottom right here. It might be a little sloppy, but we'll see what happens here. Okay, now go ahead and take your oil filter tool, attach it to your ratchet. 
and we'll go ahead and go on the bottom side and we'll take off this oil filter housing. Okay, here's our oil filter housing, obviously with the filter in place. We're gonna go ahead and pull that oil filter straight out and we'll go and wipe it out as best we can and then remove our tool from the oil filter housing right here. Okay, the oil filter housing tool is being a little stubborn right now, so I'm just gonna leave it in place because I need to reattach it anyways. And inside the oil filter box from Toyota, there's gonna be a package of two O-rings, a small one and a large one. You're gonna take this large one right here and you replace this O-ring here on the housing that's on the bottom. Don't use a metal screwdriver. Use a plastic pry tool if you need to use a tool. You don't want to damage threads or the casing on this. And then once you slide the new O-ring in position, go ahead and put some oil on there. So once we have this O-ring removed and replaced with a new one, and we put some oil on there, we'll take our filter, put inside the housing right there, and then we'll be able to reattach it to the motor and we need to torque it to 18 foot-pounds. Another thing to mention before we go ahead and install this filter housing back on the motor, Go ahead and take some new motor oil and just try to fill up a little bit of oil in this filter housing. That way you can avoid dry starts. So we'll go ahead and put some new oil in there and then install it onto the motor. All right, now that the filter housing is torqued to 18 foot-pounds, there's one more seal we need to worry about. See this rubber seal? We need to carefully remove that, and then we'll replace that, put some oil on there, and we'll go ahead and put the cap back in that is torqued to 10 foot-pounds. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Okay, the third gen Tacoma 3.5 takes between 6.1 and 6.2 quarts. We'll take this full five quart container and pour it in the motor, and then we'll have to measure accordingly when we go to the six quart. So let's go ahead and take our funnel and start filling up the motor. Got a little bit more than five quarts poured into the engine. The dipstick is reading well. So let's go ahead and start up the truck. We'll check for any leaks on the bottom. And if we have no leaks, we'll shut it off and recheck the oil level and we'll go from there. So now we can go ahead and reattach this panel with the four 12 millimeter bolts.
I just want to go over some more part numbers here. So this is the oil filter housing tool. This thing worked incredible. This is made by Motive Tools, and this is MX2320. And here's our Toyota OEM oil filter, 04152-YZZA1. And right here we have the Gretti magnetic oil drain bolt. This is an M12 by 1.25. And for the torque specifications, you got the oil drain plug that's at 30 foot-pounds. And then you got the oil filter assembly, which is 18 foot-pounds. And then the small silver piece, which is the oil filter drain, that's at 10 foot-pounds. All right, the final step on the oil change for the Toyota Tacoma. We need to go ahead and reset the maintenance light on this. So we need to go in the menu section, and we're going to scroll to the right-hand side until we can go to the settings right here. Basically, I'm using the right side keypad right here. Scroll to the right. Let me go ahead and shut this uh, check charging system off since I got the key ignition, not, the engine's not running. Click the center button right here for settings. And then we're gonna scroll down until we do maintenance reset. Click the center button again. And it says reset the maintenance reminder. And then we're gonna scroll up until it hits yes. And then go ahead and hit that center button. And there it is. Maintenance reset is complete. Then we can go ahead and hit this back arrow right here. And then we can scroll to the left on your menu. And there we are, that's back to where we started at. And that's all there is to it. All right guys, that's all there is to it with changing oil on a third gen Tacoma. The process is a little more involved than a typical truck with a screw on oil filter, but that special oil filter socket is truly a lifesaver. Even though my Tacoma came with some free dealer oil changes, I decided to do it myself as I want full synthetic and I like knowing things are done right in my vehicles. Now there's been a lot of discussions of when to change your oil and Toyota says 10,000 miles for Tacomas. Personally, I'll be doing it every 5,000 miles using full synthetic. In my opinion, 10,000 miles is just too long, but that's a whole different conversation right there. Anyhow, if you found this video helpful and entertaining, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day.